Hi. Hi. Girl, you would call on me whenever I'm not ready. Hold on. You you push the button. No, 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 no. What I'm saying, not ready like that. Not ready like that. But well, y'all okay. be, be pushing the button. Okay, what's your name? My name is Mari. Mari, you're cute. Where are you calling us Thank from? Thank you. I feel like I look a mess because I'm getting over COVID, but... You, you have COVID? Yeah, I'm getting over COVID. Okay, how you doing? Are you okay? Yeah, the first uh, couple days was, like, really, really bad, but, like, now it's good. Well, I'm happy that you're okay. Thank you. All right. I'm calling from Kansas City. Kansas City? So yeah. you're, a, you're a Chiefs fan? I'm not. I'm from Pittsburgh, so I'm a Steelers fan. You're a Steelers fan. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is M Mari? Mari. Mm -hmm. Mari, Kansas City, Chiefs. Um, how old are you? I'm 32. 32. You look good. Thank um, you. you have any kids? Yes, two. Two kids. How old are your kids? I have a four-year-old boy and an 11-year-old girl. Did your kids get COVID too? My son did, yeah. But they're with their dad right now. And they're like, he didn't get any. He got sick for one day, but that was it. And okay, he, okay. I, I was right. like that. <laughs> yes, I love it. This is Mari, Kansas, Kansas City. Um, you're from Pittsburgh, 32. What do you do for a living? I am a campaign program manager, so basically I manage uh, large ad campaigns. Large ad campaigns. Mm-hmm. Um, large ad campaigns. All right, so this is Mari, Kansas City Chiefs. Um, Kansas City, I keep saying Yeah, Chiefs. not the Chiefs. <laughs> um, 32, two kids, four to 11. Was you once married? Yeah, I've, I've been married twice. Okay. Yeah. Are you officially divorced? Uh, I'm working on that. <laughs> oh, child. That's why you got to ask. You got to ask direct questions. Girl, so. listen, I'm working on it. But this is my second divorce. And, you know, divorce gets a little bit pricey. So I got to. How long have you been separated for? Um, A little bit over a year. Okay. So, and you still want to date while you're still officially married? Yeah, why not? I mean, I met my second husband while I was still married to my first husband and then my second husband paid for my divorce to my first husband and then married me and so yeah now I just need a husband to pay for my next one no I'm, just, <laughs> I'm gonna pay for it myself <laughs> I'm playing don't be red flagging me Listen, obviously people want to marry me, so I must be doing something right, but then I don't want to be with them no more, so I don't know. I'm just not picking them right. Okay, well, okay, so you want the divorce this time around? Yeah. Oh, no, I wanted the divorce both times around. Okay, so let's talk about, okay, the first time. Why did you want a divorce from the first one? He was very, very controlling. So did you have an affair on the first one with the second one? No, it wasn't an affair or anything. I left him, and then I met the second one, like, probably a month later, and then I got with the second one. Okay. And then now the second one, why you want to divorce him? Same thing. Very controlling. Controlling how? What are they doing that give me control? Like, oh, you can't post sexy pictures on social media. You can't dress a certain way, but I dressed sexy whenever I first met you. So why do you want to change now? Like, oh, you can't just be going out all, you know, like you can't be going out and stuff. Like I can't go on girls trips if I want to. I can only go on trips with him. Like just weird stuff like that. And I'm just not into being controlled by a man. And I think it's because I tend to go for men with money and men with money, like they, for whatever reason, feel like they can control my life um so yeah but i'm not gonna stop going for men for money with money that's not the point here but. <laughs> okay so he's still gotta have money the next guy gotta have money too just maybe you're praying that he's not as controlling yes yes definitely so i will have a, okay so how long was you married in the first marriage the first marriage lasted five years okay and then uh, my second marriage lasted two. So when you get divorced this time, do you want to get married again? Mm, I'm open to it. I'm not, like, opposed to it. 
but it would definitely have to be the right situation. Okay, now, um, so are you, okay, well, you said that divorce gets pricely, pricey. If this guy has money, then what's the issue? Right, so whenever people have this misconception that it's like, okay, if he has money, then you can just get a lawyer and like bill all of your legal bills to him but you still have to pay for your lawyer up front, right? And then you have to hope that the judge will make him pay for your legal fees. Oh. See what I'm yeah, so what I'm trying to do is, well, at first I like was not talking to him at all. Like I was like, I cut communication. Um, but other than the kids, like if it didn't have anything to do with the kids, like cut communication. Um, but then, I decided, why do they keep putting all these red flags up? Girl, like, because you got a whole husband, and you said you left your first husband for your second husband, and you need the third man to pay for your second divorce. That was a you joke, did, you, Kendra. Girl, you was not telling no jokes. You said it in a joke your way, but your ass was serious. Kendra, that was What you think they're going to give you hearts? You think they're supposed to give you hearts? You know you deserve some damn red flags, child. I do deserve some red flags. Okay, okay. But listen, I swear, I swear for real, I'm being for real now. I'm not toxic. I just, I, I just had really bad taste in men, okay? I chose really bad, and then... The first time, I didn't know to get out of it really quick. And then the second time, I learned my lesson. I was like, okay, like, don't just stay in it like you did the first time. But so, did you really learn your lesson? Because you said when you go to the third, you mentioned money. So I don't know how much money yeah. was made, but I'm assuming they both had a good coin. But you said the next man got to have a good coin, too. Yeah, but it's not like they don't have to have, like, money, money. It's not like they're millionaires. You know, they just have to make over six figures. Over six figures is a millionaire. No. Six figures is like a hundred thousand dollars. Right. Oh. So over six figures is seven. So you're saying you want oh, to Oh no, no 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 no. So at least like six figures. At least six figures, yes. So they need okay. to make six figures. Okay, you just okay, you listen, so that's what you're used to, right? That's your environment. Because yeah. you're saying that like yeah. everybody like all the men in the world make six figures. No, and I and I realize that and like I know people tell me that all the time, but yeah, that's just the environment that I've been in and that's the standard that you know, I have I don't want a man who do, who makes less money than me. You know. Okay. Well, let me ask you this. What if that guy made less money than you but wasn't controlling, was supportive, was loving and you know, but just financially couldn't meet you where I guess you are. That's not an option. Um, I mean, it could be. Girl, don't get me on here to lying. Jesus. Listen, here's the deal. I'm not trying to sway nothing. All I'm doing, actually, is I'm being a good listener, right? Yeah. So I'm listening to what you're telling me. And yeah. what you're telling me is you married men that had money, but the money still didn't make you happy, and you're trying to divorce both of them. So um, what, what they had in common was the money. And you're saying, and you're being honest, and I appreciate your honesty. Yeah. The next guy got to have money too. But haven't you learned through your own life experience that the money will not keep you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm not saying that it's all about money. That's not what I'm saying at all. So, like, it's not, like, all about money. I just, like, okay, Dej, Dej Love said, I didn't been broke before. I ain't going back. Like, I got it out the mud. You know what I'm saying? Like, I worked really 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 hard to be where I am and I just want someone who has that same work ethic right mm -hmm. and like you know he does he doesn't necessarily have to make six figures but he he does have to have you know like if we're going on vacation am I paying am I is it me am I paying for it it's me is it me sis you tell me <laughs> oh what happened if you're going on vacation yeah, like if we if we're going on vacation, is it me paying for it? No, I don't think. I, don't, I mean, I see what you're saying. Here's the you deal. You know what I'm I, saying? Listen, here is the deal. You can have your lifestyle, right? I'm just trying to. I'm just. I'm just kind of reciting back of the things that I'm learning. This is my first time meeting you in life, yes. right? So yes. all I can do, and all I'm just trying to do is is mirror back the things that you said. So, yeah. and you're 32, mm -hmm. and I will say this. I don't talk about my dating life, right? But I, I will say I used to be very, very, very stronghold also on money. 
And then when I and I and I would always attract men with money, right? It was easy. It was the world I lived in. But I learned that the money wasn't enough to keep me. So that's that stopped that stopped being my own personal um, requirement. Like money can't be first because I feel like if money is the first requirement, then that means money's enough to keep you there. And it's not. Like why are you leaving these guys? Because they're controlling. So your first thing should be like, I can't be with a man that's controlling. Right, right, right. For, I mean, wait, we didn't even get to that question. I just said that. Well, damn, girl, you know, you had to put some, you had to put some, you married. I didn't, your we last didn't answer that question. Like, I, mean, I mean, girl. I mean, you didn't girl, ask me what I was looking for. I just said that, well, it, child, I you, that the problem was in the past, I, I went for money. I said, not saying that the, that the next one can, doesn't need to have money, but... And then everybody is just red flagging me and just saying that I'm just the worst. Like, wow. Well, here's the deal. You're technically a wife. So what what, what do you plan on being di officially divorced? Uh, next month. Oh, so next month you'll be divorced. Yeah. Okay, so there is an end goal to this. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But at first it was just like, you know, getting out of my first divorce. Like, my first divorce wasn't finalized until uh 2017 and then like other stuff with my divorce like settlements and things like that weren't like they weren't earned out until last year so you know like it just it was just a lot like fighting one battle and then having to go and fight another battle like i didn't want to just keep fighting battles so yeah but i'll be divorced in a month and um yeah like it's not like i I got a question. Your kids, you have two kids. Do you have one child by each guy? Yes. Okay, you have one child. So let's now now let's just start. I'm not sure if we did, but let's reset. She is married. I'm gonna we're gonna again now you are legally married, but okay. she says she will be officially divorced next month. So yeah. we're we're gonna proceed with, with that good honor faith in mind. <laughs> what type of, what type of guy are you looking for now? Um, you know, I usually will say like me and my friends we joke about it and they say that my type is like well not my type but what i need is a 666 okay i know um, I, I i've been recently educated what 666 means so let me see if i can guess it mm -hmm. 666 six feet yeah six, six six figures yep and at least six inches yep okay <laughs> girl you got it you nailed it that's exactly what it is <laughs> yes so that's what you're design that's what you're looking for no that was the joke that was the oh, joke Kendra. that was the joke that okay. was the joke Kendra no what I'm looking for is just like I don't know somebody who vibes like I smoke you know like be cool with that like be cool with just like me being like open and free you know like some guys aren't into being sexually adventurous i'm very comfortable with my sexuality and um i'm a bisexual woman so uh but i i do like to i do like to keep it man you know um so very much uh both but yeah like just like someone that's just open and likes to travel and likes to like likes nice things you know gifts is my love language so someone who can like buy me nice gifts and stuff and like when i say nice it doesn't have to be expensive it's like the thought that counts you know like if you see that i'm like oh i want a juice or something like that like get me a juicer oh okay okay you know yeah. what i mean right so wait what is your job again you're a campaign manager a campaign program manager so what i do is i manage large um it's basically a project manager for advertising okay so my client is i won't say who they are um but we do very large uh like commercials and things like that so we'll have a super bowl spot this year we'll um you know we we work with a-list celebrities like we do you know I, okay. if, if I wasn't under an NDA, I would, like, 
No, hey, you don't have to give all. Yeah, but I'm not, I can't, yeah. No, it's, it's not a requirement. You don't have to go deeper than that. Let's continue. So this is Mari, right? Yes. Okay, do you want the guy to be in Kansas City? Um, preferably not. Okay, preferably not. Okay, so you preferably. want to travel. Well, I mean, if you're not from Kansas City, cool. But if you are actually from Kansas City, mm, nah, I'm not really feeling the vibe here. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, do you want any more kids? No, I do not. That is a, that's strong. I am not having any more kids. Okay, so no more kids. So if you meet a guy who's 32, he has to already have kids. Yeah. Or just okay. not want kids. That's fine, or, too. Okay, no more kids for sure. What's yeah. the age range you want to date? Um, Probably no one younger than me. Like, no one under, no one under 32. Um, No one older than 50. Okay, no one older than 50. Mm -hmm. So you will, you will go all the way to 50? Yeah, but he got to be like a silver fox. Okay. Mm -hmm. you um, like, mm, yummy you know you gave us you, you gave us the income requirement earlier so i'm not gonna mm -hmm. ask you that do you have an appearance requirement um yeah i i'm tall i'm like five seven so obviously over six feet um that one was for real uh and then girl you was uh, you for real over all of them you was for real six <laughs> feet six figures six <laughs> inches don't even act like that's not what you want i was for real i was for real but y'all was coming for me in the comments and i tried so let to me say this me. you're a naturally beautiful girl right oh you're thank you, you are, i feel like right? i look a mess girl no, but you listen you're naturally beautiful and i can tell you got did like I am, all done up. You're going to be flawless, right? Um, also, you, you were open. You were open and told us you're bisexual. Yes. So I say all that to say, I believe you will always get that guy. I believe you will get the guy that has money, that's attractive, um, and that has the, the penis size you desire. The question will be, you will get the guy, but how do you have him? Do you have him solely to yourself? Is he this faithful man that's only with you? Is I he don't require that though? I oh, don't... you don't. Re... Oh, girl. oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so yeah, let me just. I don't believe in ownership of people. Like, why? You know what I'm saying? I believe in honesty and openness. So if you feel like you don't want to just be with one person, that's okay. That is okay with me. You so just you have, have to open communicate that. So, okay, no, well, he was not. No, neither one of those, neither one of them were into it at all. Oh, but you would have been fine if they had other girls. Yes. Okay, so your issue with your marriage was they were trying to own you. Yes. So you can be with a man that has other women that wouldn't bother you, but you don't want him to have, you don't want him to feel like he has control over you. Right, exactly. Yeah. And so like, if I want to go and I want to be with other people, I can be with other people too. You know, we can both be with other people. That's fine. As long as we both know where we stand and like where we are and that our connection cannot be broken. I feel like a lot of people are afraid of non-monogamous relationships because they think that that person might fall in love with someone else and then take their place. But I'm not worried about someone taking my place, you know? So you know, if you want to go and just like have sexual relationships with other people, as long as that you're being safe, you know, I will obviously use protection. Don't bring me back anything and don't bring back any babies and we're fine. Mm, okay. Yeah. yeah. We're all adults. <laughs> like nobody owns anybody. Sharing is caring. Love is love. <laughs> Listen, I know plenty of men that will sign up for that. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, you're like, okay. <laughs> What's up? Well, I think you got to get divorced first. Um. Got you, got you, got you. I'm working on that one. I'm working on it. Listen, I will say this, though. Like, I mean, a lot of celebrity men, that's kind of, kind of how they roll. Like, I mean, I'm just going to be honest. A lot of celebrity, yeah. a lot, lot of celebrity men um, roll like that. And since you say, I think the controlling part, you still just have to see what kind of, how that guy is, because that's probably the common denominator you felt i guess i feel like you're both of your husband they just want to be with you though yeah they just wanted to be with me okay 
Um, yeah, like I kind of made my first husband, not, I didn't make him, I'm not a rapist, but I kind of like pressured him into a threesome because I thought that he would enjoy it and like it. And he said that he liked it and enjoyed it, but like then he felt like dirty in our marriage or something. And I was just like, that's weird and suspicious. Well, maybe some men, but it was a threesome with another girl, I'm assuming. Yeah, with another girl. And that's why I'm like, what? This is like every guy's fantasy. Well, not every guy's fantasy. There are some men who just want to be like with their wife. And, yeah. you know, and they do have their own. Um, but, I mean, look, I ain't going to defend it. You are right. It's most men's fantasies. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, Mari, listen, especially <laughs> when you said, because the one thing, is that I always ask women when they say they want guys that make a certain amount of money if they want the guy to be faithful. And the reason I ask that, and, again, everybody has their own life experience, but I know lots of millionaire men, and that's, um, probably is the common denominator. Like, they just don't be with one woman. But if you are saying that that doesn't bother you, mm -mm. I think you will get your 666. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. Because, <laughs> yeah, I know what comes with it. And, like, it, here's the thing. Broke guys do it all the time. <laughs> Behind your back. So you might as well just be open and honest about it. And once you realize that it's just dick and pussy, am I allowed to say that on here? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Once you realize that it's just dick and pussy, it's just sex, that's it. You know, people, you have to separate sex from love. And, you know, I can have sex with somebody and not love them. Okay. You know, <laughs> just like men can. And and I feel like they should be able to, you know, if 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 we're being honest and open and we're being responsible. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. listen, this is Mari in Kansas City, 32. Um, she'll date between 30 and 50. She does not want any more kids. She currently has two kids, 4 and 11. She's a campaign program manager. Manager. Um, what's your zodiac sign again? I'm a Virgo. She's a Virgo. I um, I guess the I'm very last Virgo. Why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Well, um, I have been told that I am marriage material. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, honestly, um, I might come off like, um, you know, superficial and stuff like that. But I'm really, really a down to earth person. I'm very, very, um, you know, just like loving and affectionate with my man and or my woman. And, you know, I, I let them be them, and they let them be me, me be me, and we're all good. Like, what more can you want, really? And and there you have it. Okay, someone, someone try to cap and say you're divorce material, but let's just clear it up. You are divorcing, you, you are I'm chosen. I'm divorcing them. At my first, at my first divorce, like, no bullshit, no cap. At my first divorce, when he was signing the papers, I was pregnant with my son, Jacoby, and also engaged. And so I had this big ass rock on my finger and this man was over there and he literally was signing the papers, bawling, crying, like bawling, crying. And it actually made me feel bad. It did. So wait, you were pregnant by your sec soon to be second husband while you were divorcing your first husband? Yeah. And he still wanted you back? he was bawling crying yes so he was he was like you know i he was still in love and you know now he has moved on he's found a great girl and like we're friends and everything is cool but you know it was really really hard for him and i did feel very very bad but i just couldn't be in that in that situation anymore in that marriage anymore like i couldn't even drink Okay. The second marriage, does he want to, what about the second guy you're about to divorce? Does he want to stay oh, married? Yes, he does want to stay married. He wanted uh, for us to just separate and work on ourselves and like come back together. Um, and then he was like, well, you can still like have your own place and stuff like that. And um, we can just stay legally married and I'll still, you know, pay for your things. And like, we, we just legally married and then on holidays and things like, we'll, 
uh, be a family and be together. And um, I considered it for a second and I was like, mm, no. Okay, I just, okay. All yeah, right, so the marriages are over. Well, yeah. okay, so let's do it. Give them your Instagram. My Instagram is Mari, that's M-A-U-R-I underscore the, T-H-E underscore Magus, M-A-G-U-S. Okay, it's Mari, M-A-U-R-I underscore the, T-H-E underscore M-A-G-U-S. She's in Kansas City. You don't have to be located in Kansas City. She's 32. She'll date between 32 and 50. She has two kids. Absolutely no more kids. She does not want. She's a Virgo. And let's do it. Keep me posted, girl. I will. I will. I'll DM you. All right. Bye, baby. All right. Bye. Ooh, ciao.